plans for the better. We're recalibrating our timelines now because of the uh, news. Ontario's health minister says the addition of the AstraZeneca vaccine and a recommendation to extend the time between the first and second doses of Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna means all Ontarians should be vaccinated sooner than previously planned. Uh, we were looking at the end of the summer, probably into perhaps September, but I think it's fair to say that we will be able to um, shorten that timeline. Christine Elliott says the recalibrated plan is coming soon. I would say imminently. We, we know that people are anxious. Saying Ontario is waiting to find out exactly how much of the initial half million doses of AstraZeneca it will receive. However, Ottawa says provinces have been told what to expect, with deliveries expected to begin early next week. They had a tentative uh, quantity, but now they have a confirmed quantity. Provinces agreed to a per capita allocation. The Ford government's lack of specificity is garnering criticism from NDP leader Andrea Horvath and Liberal House leader John Fraser. Once again shows that the government seems to be in a scramble uh, in terms of their plan for the rollout of vaccines. What's evident to me is they're not ready. Yesterday, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization advised provinces to delay the second shot by up to four months, saying that would allow about 80% of Canadians over age 16 to get a first dose by the end of June, saying one dose will still provide good protection. Ottawa maintains September is still the goal. And if uh, we actually are able to do that earlier based on, you know, getting more vaccines approved, uh, getting greater supply, all the better. Next week, Ontario will add more vaccination locations, rolling out a pilot project at pharmacies in Toronto, Essex and Kingston. And Elliott says AstraZeneca vaccines will be heading to pharmacies because it can be moved around more easily than Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna. A large number will be delivered through pharmacies because it's, it's easier to handle. A new vaccination plan is expected to be announced tomorrow. Now, to give you some context on how Canada's doing in vaccinating our people, about 4% of Canadians have received at least their first dose of vaccine. And when you look at a global online vaccination tracker, we're falling behind dozens of countries, including the U.S., Serbia, Lithuania, Morocco, and many more.